In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the minimum number of teeth required on the pinion and gear in order to avoid the interference. So, for this, we will understand this geometry. This is pinion, which is driver, this is gear. So, this circle represents the base circle of the pinion, this circle is pitch circle, and this is addendum circle. Similarly, in gear, this is base circle, this is pitch circle, and this is addendum circle. So, now if we draw a pressure line which is tangent to the base circle of both of the gears. So, this EF is the pressure line, P is the pitch point, this is the center of gear, this A is the point of center of the pinion and <coughs> so this geometry or you can see this triangle can be represented in this form. So, AB is the center line. The maximum addendum can be AF for the pinion if we are going to increase or keep on increasing the addendum circle diameter of the pinion and if it will pass, surpass the F point, there would be a interference. The reason for the interference is that if we keep on increasing this addendum circle and it will surpass the F point, then there would be an interaction between involute and non-involute profile of the gears. Non-involute profile means the involute profile of pinion will interact with the fillet part of this gear and that there would be an undercutting. So, that undercutting phenomena is known as interference. So, to be on safer side, the maximum addendum of the pinion can be this much from this point to this because this is pitch circle and from this point to this point this can be a maximum addendum so we can say the maximum addendum circle diameter can be af so mathematically we can write if we consider this triangle a p f so we can say triangle A P F means we are talking about this triangle A P F. So, from Coase rule you can write A F which is R A max R A max. So, you can write R A max square is equal to the pitch circle radius of this pinion is small r, small r square plus and this p f, p f is capital R sin phi, capital R is the pitch circle radius of gear. So, this p f is r sin phi. So, this is r square sin square phi minus 2 small r capital R sin phi and cos of this angle cos of this angle and this angle is 90 plus phi so this angle is this angle is 90 plus phi so cos 90 plus phi so now we can write small r square plus capital R plus 2 R R sin phi and R A max square is small r 1 plus capital R R capital R divided by small r plus 2 sin square <clears throat> so, if we designate capital R over small r is gear ratio G. So, this can be written as R A max is equal to R under root of this term 
1 and capital R divided by small r becomes g g plus 2 sin square phi so this is maximum diameter of addendum circle and addendum is the addendum circle diameter uh, this is the maximum radius of addendum circle and addendum is radius of addendum circle minus radius of pitch circle so that can be or you can say the maximum addendum maximum addendum of pinion is r a max minus r means you can say maximum addendum of pinion can be this much only if we are going to increase the addendum beyond this there would be interference so that can be r max minus r so that can be written as r one plus g g plus two sine square phi minus r so r one plus g g plus two sine square phi minus one right so this can this is maximum addendum of pinion and addendum is always given as addendum is always given as ap times of you can say ap times of module okay so now we can say this ap times of module or maximum addendum should always be less than or equal to this r under root 1 plus g g plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 so here ap is known as addendum coefficient ap is known as addendum coefficient AP is addendum coefficient. Now this R can also be replaced in terms of module because from the definition of module you can say module is pitch circle diameter over number of teeth or you can say pitch circle diameter is equal to M times T or in the form of radius this is D is 2 times of R so 2 times of R is M times T or you can say capital R is equal to M T over 2 and for pinion small r for pinion small r equals to M small t over 2 here capital T is number of teeth number of teeth on gear and small t is number of teeth on pinion so at place of small r we can write 
small m small t divided by 2 right so this can be ap multiplied by m we can write ap m should be less than or equal to small m t small t divided by 2 divided by 2 under root 1 plus g g plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 so <clears throat> now the number of teeth on pinion m will get cancelled out by this m so you can say t equals to or greater than or equals to 2 times of AP divided by this term 1 plus G G plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 under root minus 1 so this is the number of teeth on pinion to avoid the interference so similarly Similarly, for the gear, or you can say T minimum, because in order to avoid the interference, T can be greater than this quantity, but minimum teeth should be equal to this term. So, T minimum is equal to 2 AP divided by 1 plus G, G plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 and in case of on the similar line we can find out this formula for gear t minimum is equal to 2 ag divided by 1 plus 1 by g 1 by g plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 this is so in case of gear the minimum number of teeth to in order to avoid the interference can be given by this formula 2 ag 1 plus 1 by g 1 by g plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 here ag is addendum coefficient in most of the cases ag and ap is taken as 1 and one more case there can be if the addendum of pinion and gear same if the addendum you can say if the addendum of pinion and gear both are same so in this case the gear must be safe first gear must be safe so t minimum is equal to 2 ag or 1 plus 1 by g 1 by g plus 2 sin square phi minus 1 so first of all you have to calculate the number of teeth minimum number of teeth on gear to avoid the interference the pinion if the gear is safe then the pinion will be automatically safe 
automatically save. So t minimum would be given by t minimum divided by gear ratio. So you can say this is the maximum maximum safety limit maximum safety limit limit for pinion addendum for pinion addendum to avoid interference and this is this is the maximum safety limit for gear addendum to avoid interference so if we are going to increase the addendum beyond this f or this e there would be interference so this is final formula for minimum number of teeth to avoid the interference the small t minimum this is for pinion and capital t minimum this is for gear thank you